Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at LR Carnival Kid Gohan, the Chala Head Chala opening Carnival LR Kid Gohan here. Eighth anniversary part two unit, 55% level one links. Let's go over his kit first. So uh, he is a bond of master and disciple category 200% leader, which is actually the team we're going to be using. I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, his super attacks, we have a bunch here. We have uh, some unit super attacks, so we'll go over this really quickly. 12 key is the clean cleave. Raise attack for one turn, cause a colossal damage to enemy. The 18 key is the Masenko. Let me see if I can click on this. Raise attack and defense and cause of mega colossal damage to enemy. So he's actually infinitely stacking attack and defense, which is pretty good. Then we have uh, the two unit super attacks. So the first one is Miraculous Ultra Z Power. So this first one is um, activated when key is 18 or more with an ally whose name includes Goku, uh, Krillin, Yamcha, or Tien attacking in the same turn. This greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. So instead of just normally stacking attack, he's greatly stacking attack, which is the main difference here between the uh, unit super attack and the regular 18 key. Which is going to be good because that actually is going to factor into the damage that you deal with your active skill later on. Uh, then the other unit super attack is together with Piccolo. This one is, of course, as you would expect, uh, when there's a Piccolo attacking in the same turn. This actually greatly raises attack, raises defense, and causes mega colossal damage to all enemies. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, this is uh, the same thing as this one. It's, they're, they're both AoEs. So not only are you greatly stacking attack instead of normally stacking attack, you're actually doing an AoE. Um, so that, that's the big difference between those uh, unit super attacks and the 18 key super. I mean, a AoEs really aren't going to matter in the majority of content you're doing most of the time, but it is nice to have that. All right, so the passive, the power of smiles. Activates the entrance animation upon entry once only. He gets key plus four, attack and defense plus 58%, and then launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack for six turns from start of turn. Um, so that additional super would just be the 12 key super, which unfortunately doesn't really have a fantastic effect here. It's just raise attack for one turn. So nothing too crazy there. Um, then he gets key plus four attack and defense plus 158%. That's his baseline uh, there. When an enemy is hit by the character's ultra super attack or unit super attack, reduces damage received from that enemy by 30% for the duration of that turn. So when, kid Go when this Gohan does his 18 key or a unit super attack on an enemy, he then takes 30% reduced damage from that enemy for the remainder of the turn. So that's pretty good. Basically just 30% damage reduction, right? Uh, then he gets an additional key plus 1 up to 6, and defense plus 8% up to 58% with each attack received, which means he has to take 8 hits to get the full effects there. Then he gets an additional attack plus 58%, starting from the turn in which the character receives the fifth attack in battle, and then he launches an additional super attack starting from the turn in which the character receives the eighth attack in battle. So once this guy gets hit eight times, he has the full passive active, which eh, it can be tricky because, uh, you know, I just did the video on the AGL LR Carnival Goku. That Goku is a very, very easy to use character. You can just put him in slot one and he's fine. This kid, Gohan, gets damage reduction from supering first, so he's more of a slot 2 character, and when you have these characters who are more of slot 2 slash 3 characters, having them get hit 8 times isn't necessarily going to be the easiest thing ever, but it is what it is. Alright, then the active skill is Incident Under the Full Moon. can be activated when HP is 58% or less, or when there is another Bond of Master and Disciple category ally attacking in the same turn, starting from the 5th turn from the start of battle, which is, once again, this Gohan and then the Carnival Goku both have ridiculously easy active skill conditions, which is re really good to see. Massively raise attack temporarily, ultimate damage, and within the turn activated attacks, effective against all types. They decided not to give this kid Gohan um, guaranteed crits for the turn. They gave him the um, effective against all types instead, for whatever reason, it's fine. All right, so in terms of his links, we have the Innocence, Saiyan Warrior Race, All in the Family, Z Fighters, Gaze of Respect, Fierce Battle, and then a Legendary Power. Categories, Bond of Master and Disciple, Hybrid Saiyans, Goku's Family, Youth, Saiyan Saga, Bond of Parent and Child, Earthbird Fighters, and Giant Ape Power. 
Okay, let's go ahead and jump into the team build here. So we're actually going to be using his own team. This is the Bond of Master and Disciple 200% team here. Um, we're actually going to be running him next to the World Tournament Piccolo. This um, this guy got a massive, massive power boost from his EZA. So we can actually make use of this character next to Kid Gohan. It's going to be pretty good. Um, we're also going to be running a bunch of... This is literally just the Gohan and Piccolo team. <laughs> We have four Piccolos and three Gohans on this team here, so uh, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to jump into the Shadow Dragon stage of Red Zone here. Very long event. We're going to have plenty of time for Kid Gohan to stack up, show what he can do. Let's go ahead and start. Let's see what we got. Um, okay, we have... Oh, we actually have perfect rotations. Wow, would you look at that? It's very, very rare for me to get this, so I'll take that. I forgot to put the uh, the, the music on. Oh well. We can activate it now. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, this Piccolo has to be in slot one at all times. He gets extra defense, and I'm pretty sure he gets guard in slot one, right? Let me just check. Um... Yeah, guards all attacks as the first attacker in the turn. Then he gets 100% defense if Gohan is attacking in the same turn. So we just are, we're just going to park him in slot one. He's got 467,000 defense. He's guarding. He's fine. Uh, this kid Gohan, this friend, is also 55% level one links. He has a few skill orbs, but that's not much. I mean, it's fine. Um, so he's starting to turn out at 276,000 defense which is only going to get higher when he gets hit and when he starts stacking. So let's begin. He is going to be supering us in slot two, which is interesting. So it's obviously going to be free double digits. Type advantage here. Turn one. We're good to go. All right, and then Gohan gives us four million. Pretty similar start this Gohan is having to the Carnival Goku did in the prior video. But the difference is this, Go this kid Gohan has built in additionals, right? Um, honestly, the units are pretty similar because they need to, they both need to get hit. They both build up defense and attack from getting hit, and they build up key. Um, so I think we're, we're going to see a pretty similar progression in terms of the numbers from these characters, the, both the carnival units, Goku and Gohan. All right, there's Piccolo getting some stacks in. That's fine. It's actually been a long time since I've used Orange Piccolo to, like, his full potential. 200% leader skill next to a support character linking up pretty well. Let's go. Orange Piccolo. All right, we'll get this guy out of here, and then we'll move on to the next phase. Oh, he lived. Oh, he's dead. Actually, I would have preferred if he didn't kill him there so we can get the extra stacks. It's fine. All right. This is a bit unfortunate. Um, we, we, I mean, we have to do this. Four, so Gohan's up to 417. The friend. Yeah, I mean, that entire difference... Because, again, take a look here. Level 1 links. I mean, I guess he does have a level 5 defense skill orb, which I guess kind of could make a difference. But, I mean, he all, all we did was we supered once, and then we got hit, like, once. And that's the difference in defense. So he, he is going to be stacking up pretty fast, I think. Um, all right, let's just do this. This is fine. We'll have you grab this. 
And then we still want to make sure we're stacking with mine as well. Yeah, I think I gave my Piccolo full dodge, this Piccolo right here. He has like 27 dodge or something. Oh, that's actually pretty fine. I don't care. The slower we go, the better. Just get more time to stack up. Remember, not only are we stacking defense, we're stacking attack that's going to play into the damage we do with our active skill later on. All right, that's good. Attacking right away, huh? Okay. Do I even care about supering with you? No. Uh, let's just do this. Oh, well, he's going to super anyway because Piccolo got the, uh, the key support from getting hit. And then rest assured, we will not be using Orange Piccolo in this video. <laughs> I'm not going to be popping the Orange Piccolo transformation in this video. We're not doing that. All right, so we're going to be able to get some stacks in with the physical Piccolo, which is cool. Again, the slower we go, the better. All right. I... I'm just going to do this. Piccolo uh, definitely won't kill this guy. Up to 549. Okay. Just moving as slow as possible. Yeah, 2.3 is not going to kill. Type disadvantage. He's not even going to get take damage. He's going to absorb it. Okay. All right, still at 4.5. He hasn't been hit enough times, right? Oh, there's the additional. That's actually the hidden potential additional, I think. That's pretty crazy, considering he has, like, zero. <laughs> he has, like, zero additional. All right, so now we'll move on to the next phase. How many links does this Gohan share with Piccolo? Just fierce battle legendary power. Um, let's just kick him off. I don't want to do that much damage. Let's just do this. Good, he did an additional super. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to be, what, turn four with Gohan, I think? Gohan's fourth turn. million. Unfortunately, no attacks at the end, so we can't stack up at the end here. Fine. Alright. Where's the super at? In the front. That's fine. Let's put Piccolo there. Alright, so we're at 581. I believe his entrance buff has worn off now. Yeah, six turns. It's turn seven. Yeah. His entrance buff is now worn off, which is fine. Whatever. 
Let's do this. And then we'll do this. All right, hopefully we don't kill her before she's able to hit Gohan, because I think Gohan is one hit away from getting his attack buff. All right, so we're pretty much seeing a consistent 4.2 million, or hovering around 4 million from Gohan, right? All right, there we go. Nair's his attack buff. So now we're going to be able to see a pretty sizable difference in his damage, I think. Starting from the next turn. All right, so we'll finish. This is actually perfect. We'll finish, we'll finish off Oceanus next turn, and then we'll come back to this rotation with a fresh enemy. 765. Okay, that's fine. Let's do this. Getting close to a Dokkan attack. This is, this is taking forever. <laughs> Has AGL Gohan even attacked a single time? I don't think so. Here's the turn that's a little bit iffy. Um, do I want to put Piccolo in slot two? He's not going to be guarding, and he's not going to be getting as much defense, right, in slot two? I just want to get eh, – let's just do this, whatever. It's fine. I'll just give him that. We'll do that, and then we'll do this. All right, Gohan's damage should be a little higher here. Yeah, 5.6. I mean, it's not a massive jump. It's not like Carnival Goku's jump, right? Carnival Goku was at like 4 million, and then he jumped to like 11 million. <laughs> it's, not, it's not to that level, but... Um, it's definitely it's definitely helpful, right? And then keep in mind, once we get hit that eighth time, we're gonna be getting the additional super. I think we're actually one hit away. I think we need to get hit one more time to get the uh, the extra super. All right, this is mine with no links active. Okay, nice. Not literally zero damage. Perfect. Did he seal him or lock? He sealed him. Okay, whatever. Who cares? Um. Are we going to get a Dokkan? No, we're not going to get a Dokkan attack here. Next turn, we will get one. Which sucks, because that means we're going to get it with Piccolo. Are we moving on to... No, we're not going to kill him this turn, right? Yeah, no way. Because Physical Piccolo, even if Physical Piccolo wasn't sealed, you wouldn't kill him here. Yeah, this team just does zero damage. <laughs> After using the eight, the part one, eighth anniversary LRs, like this just feels so underwhelming. <laughs> like, I think, I think Kid Gohan could put up some really good damage. It's just not at 55% level one lengths, right? When you have characters like this that are doing a bunch of additionals, like crits definitely help a lot. All right. Um, oh, Piccolo is sealed. That actually helps because that means we don't, we can't give Piccolo the Dokkan attack. That actually worked out perfect. Nine hundred K, huh? Four links in slot two here. Okay, let's give the Dokkan attack to Gohan. That's fine. This will do a little bit of damage. Yeah, it's fine. Um, do I even really want to 
click these. I'd rather we not kill him this turn, so I'm not even going to click this. And then we'll kill him next turn, and then we'll go in against Nova with this rotation. Perfect. 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 Oh, he sealed Piccolo. Um, I could I could just use Orange Piccolo here. Nah. We should be able to kill, right? He's dead. There's no way. Oh, yeah, okay. We're just inching our way through this. <laughs> Slowly inching our way through this. All right. Fine. All right, finally, we are on Nova. Supering at the end. All right, we're doing this then. A million defense for Gohan. A million. Alright. Uh, let's do that. Let's do that. Physical Piccolo is fine. I saw him eat full power, red zone, full power freezes super attack for like 200k. He's fine. And he had a lot less defense than this one does. I think that's the final stack that Gohan needed for his defense. He should be fully built up now. All right, do your worst, Nova. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> nice try. Um, all right. Let's move along a little bit here. So, I have been saving Kid Gohan's active skill this whole time because I wanna I wanna end with an explosive turn from him. Okay, perfect. I actually did want to kill there. Nice. All right, he's dead. Let's move on. Perfect. Okay, so we can double active here. We locked Piccolo. All right, so <laughs> the friend is at a hundred. No, uh, one point one three million defense. And then mine is at 760. Remember, I've been floating mine around the whole time. 
Uh, all right, we're just going to pop both of these active skills back to back. And once we do that, remember that um, they have super effective against all types for the remainder of the turn. So I think we kill, but we'll see. Alright, pretty good. And now I... Only problem is, if he... So... <laughs> if we don't kill him in slot 1, and he supers Piccolo in slot 2, we're dead. We lose. That's the only scenario where we lose. But... Let's go. We have no choice. We have to do it like this. He's, he's sealed. Like, what, what, what am I supposed to do? Um, but, I mean, that, that's pretty much the gist of how this character works, right? Uh, I think this character probably does end up being a bit more dupe-dependent than the Carnival Goku. But, uh, regardless, let me know down below what you guys think of Carnival LR Kid Gohan. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one. Oh, this is going to be good. This should be nothing, right? Oh, he dodged it? Wow. A five dodge. Sure, man. Um, I'm pretty sure we would have taken zero damage. We had 1.1 million defense with 30% damage reduction. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good.